whenever ready, I'll go. Three, two, one, go. Hello, and this is Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure, a game for the Game Boy Advance, which take part in uh, the DB saga, and not the DBZ, and not, let's not confuse that. Uh, it starts when you first, well, meet Go Kid Goku and um, go up until fight Piccolo at the end, before Goku becomes an adult or something. Uh, this game is a 2D scroller beat em up with a little bit of one on one combat fights, tournaments, and stuff. So, yeah, it's not like the other uh, games of, of the series, but it has its charm. Probably the best Dragon Ball game, in my opinion. I'll try to explain a little bit of stuff when I get when I get there, but right now I'm trying not to mess up my stuff. Here and I might show, but I'm a little bit nervous. So. Yamcha is no more. Didn't do a, a whole lot. To... All right, here's the um, first level that gives you multiple uh, choice to wherever you want to go. In the level, there's two way in this level, and honestly, I think both way are pretty much the same. Um, some people like to choose different paths to go through this castle, but yeah, it's up to the runner, I guess. Also, we're gonna skip this power up. Normally, I would choose this. I would pick up this bar up for a, a bigger combo, but uh, since I learned that it's actually slower, even with the best, com the better combo, we're not gonna take it.
Also, I might I I didn't explain yet, but the um yellow bar you see in the bottom left is my key bar, and whenever the bar is full, it allows you to do a combo using L and R on your uh, controller, which allow you for well do a lot of hits, but not to get confused by doing L first and then R after again, because it's going it's not going to do the combo that you want to do. You want to charge before doing L. Sorry, there's not really a whole lot to explain right now. It's just go through the level fast and just beat up enemies they need to actually beat up to progress. Fun fact, the first wish that was made in the Dragon Ball storyline by a dragon using the seven Dragon Balls was for a pair of sexy panties. Back to you, Del. Oh, man. Uh, this is some really bad RNG. Triple jump.
Uh, you'll see, you'll see the uh, the Nimbus soon enough. Also, this is the um, tutorial kind of thing that tells you about the one-on-one uh, -on -one battles or one-on-one -on -one fights. Also, I have to get blocked three times from Krillin right now, and if he wants to, he could just not attack you at all for like 20 seconds. Uh, well, like I said, I really don't know what to explain. There's, like, not a lot to explain. It's just to beat him up, so... Like... I, ca I, I can't make up words for a beat him up game. It's... Well, the story of the game, it's, like I said at the beginning, it's drag it's um, Dragon Ball Saga. Uh, when you first up, first meet up Goku, and when you go and beat up Piccolo at the end, it's right before DBZ, so... Plus, oh man, I, I, do, I do wish I had um, some kind of commentator for this, because I'm really not that good at commentating stuff. Shouldn't honestly have told you that. You not do that. Yeah, I guess I guess you're right. <clears throat> well, and I I guess I'll just explain the story uh, for every level. I guess it's better than nothing. <clears throat> so right now, what we're trying to do, we're trying to recover. 
actually, uh, one second, I'm just, uh, I'm, not I'm just gonna try not to die here, because I have lower health than I usually do. Let me get let me uh, go get the HP first. Honestly, if I had to explain the story, I couldn't really explain a whole lot about it because I didn't actually uh, watch Dragon Ball that much or know about it that much. All I know is right now we're just trying to um, collect Dragon Ball or find the Dragon Ball with 4 star, as they say in the manga. So, yeah, sorry about I I really don't know what else to say. I have absolutely nothing to say. I mean anything is better than nothing, that's right, but anything would have been better than this, to be honest. Uh, well, I do. I do. I'm stressed. I I am really stressed right now. But trying, to, I, I can try to explain some stuff. I I mean, I not like I don't know all of Dragon Ball, but some part I really cannot explain much because I really don't know what the story is completely. All I know is that right now I'm just looking for the four star Dragon Ball. Oop. Because I do have, I do know this part at least, like a little bit. <clears throat> no, I, it's I didn't say it wasn't really a Dragon Ball fan. It's just that I don't know the Dragon Ball saga very much. Uh, I am more to the Dragon Ball Z uh, part. Alright, so right now I, I know for this part that with that Bulma and uh, Krillin detected a Dragon Ball in this cave, and we're off to it. And if I remember correctly, the surgeon that we never met in this game yet, because cutscene skips and shit, um, is following us. But, well, following us, I mean, you don't ever see him. You won't see the, um... What do they call it? The, uh, squid, I think it is. Because normally the uh, other commander would uh, make you go a different way. Well, in the, in the manga it does that. Makes you go a different way and you're fighting some kind of squid, but not in this game.
All right, so for this fight, for this fight, you have to actually lose this fight. You can win the fight, but at the end, even if you win the fight, uh, he's, he's going to one-shot you and instantly kill you, so... Also, you do not want him to do that attack. Because it's just waste time, or in one cycle. Probably one of the worst mini game in the game too. Catching him is such a pain. You could manipulate him, but I haven't found any way to actually do that yet. Alright, so now you can actually beat him, finally. I'm guessing in the story, um, the first time he beat you, uh, I'm not sure of the name, it's Yajirobe or something, um, brings you up the tower, or am I too far in the, in the story? <laughs> I honestly couldn't tell. Wouldn't be able to tell you, but all I, all I know is that now you're just gonna beat this guy's ass and actually kill him. Alright, this isn't the part that I actually even seen or read. <clears throat> I, all I know right here is that they, I guess, detected the Dragon Ball in the Red Ribbon base, and that's one of the. That's like the only Yodel Scroller you'll see with the Nimbus. It's. Ter it's it's not terrible. It's bad because it's an auto scroller, but it's pretty good. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool thing to do. Yeah, this part is pretty slow, but finally come at the end. And now we are actually in the red ribbon base. 
This part is you is usually trolling me with enemies that throw bombs way before you actually see them on screen. By the way, this is a thing in this game. Enemies will attack you even off the screen, and you can't do a thing about it. Alright, so... What else is there to talk about here? Except... Beating up enemies and getting trolled by everything. Oh yeah, that. Also here, there's another... Um, this is another part of the game where you can choose two different paths. Going up is actually slower because there is way more um, force battle. Also, there is a, there is a skip that in this too. Oh my god! Also, dropping in that hole there. If you miss your jump, you get a force battle with two red robots. Um, yeah, we're almost coming up to to the uh, to the end of this level. Thankfully, not a re not a real hard level overall, but very no very annoying. So if you go up there on that bridge, you'll start a force battle. The, the game gives you, well, yeah, if you go on the bridge, you, you have to fight two big robots. And if you just go under it, well, no fight, basically it. Also more RNG. He has, he has a chance to go in the background there, <clears throat> and going in back usually costs you like 25 seconds alright so now that we beat up the red ribbon base we killed up every killed everyone well not everybody some of them actually run away but yeah, right now uh, we learned that the. Uh, actually, I'm not even sure what their name is. Uh, I think it's Baba or something. I'm not sure. Um, that can answer or tell you anything you want to know, but. Yeah, but probably a price to pay. And now you have to. Usually you would kill. You would fight five fights, but. It's a game, so you don't see the rest of them. You won't see y Yamcha get wrecked.
And you, you just normally hear um, if if you've seen the uh, anime or read the manga, normally your tail would get cut, but. Well, in this game, it doesn't. Damn, I didn't actually meant to use any key. Uh, well, th let's talk about this part now. This the second world tournament that you take part. Um, that's where you meet Tien Chosu, <clears throat> and that's where Colin dies. Yeah, spoiler alert. Not really a spoiler, but that's where Krillin get wrecked by one of the demon. Um, yeah, the spelling in this game is pretty uh, original, I must say. Also, yeah, in this fight, you're you're supposed to lose, like not not in this game, I mean, but in the anime, um, Goku is supposed to lose the fight or is lo lose the fight, but in this game, you just win it. Ah. When in this game you win the fight, make a whole lot of sense. Kalelin and Goku, well, I mean it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Alright, so in, in the story, that's where you actually find out that Krillin's been dead, and then Goku take the Nimbus to go and uh, catch up on the demon, but that's when he get wrecked. <laughs> well, they, in this one they call the demon Piccolo, I guess. <clears throat> 
Yeah, you do, you do get wrecked, and then I guess some kind of uh, training before you go and fight up Piccolo, uh, whatever, wherever that place is. I don't know. I don't read Japanese, so I can I won't be able to tell you. Also, good thing that I jumped to the right there. Got that guy had a bomb ready for me. Oh, no. Let's go this way. So I'm not sure why you're in this cave, to be honest. All I know is that Yajirobe just takes you and saves your life. And then after that, it's completely blank for me. Oh, please, can you go to my left? There's a way to actually hit both of them at the same time, but the guy on the right trolled the hell out of me right there. Alright, so this is the final area of the game. This is where you're gonna be. I'm gonna be fighting Piccolo. Piccolo is really not that hard, to be honest. Also, this guy. If you just combo him, he's just a pushover, really. And that's where you actually fight enemies that you have never seen in the game, except the uh, dragons. Uh, not the small dragons, but you know, the big dragon you'll see. Uh, what else is there to say until I go and fight Piccolo? Uh, well, it's near the end of the game, so there's... I don't know what else I could tell you that I actually probably don't know about, anything about.
Oh yeah, also the game doesn't tell you, but with the, the 4T upgrade, you actually get a special move for the one-on-one -on -one fights, and the only fights you're actually, I guess, able to use it in is pick a low fight. And I'll try to use it just to show it off. It's also a great finisher move. Alright, so this this is the final fight of the game. Um, yeah, it, it, honestly, this fight is just as easy as the others. If you keep him locked in the corner, as long as he doesn't teleport behind you. Alright, let's see if I can do it. Yeah. Alright, so in in the oh by the way that's time right there. By the way, in the manga, if uh, or the anime, normally Goku kills Piccolo by uh, doing that move, the Kamehameha, with his feet and then punching right through him, or just yeah.